And we are working new details on the case of an East Providence teacher and coach facing charges of domestic assault. As we first told you on Eyewitness News Live at 5, Michael Solitro is on paid administrative leave as the investigation continues. And tonight we've learned this is not the first time he's been arrested and we're hearing from advocates against domestic violence about the alleged crime. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan has the details from East Providence now. Michael Solitro won't be going to work. He's been placed on administrative leave after getting arrested and charged with domestic assault. And we are also learning a little less than a year ago, he was arrested and charged with domestic vandalism. East Providence high school teacher and girls basketball coach, 36-year-old Michael Solitro, won't be going to work while police investigate a domestic violence incident at his home over the weekend. The school superintendent confirmed to Eyewitness News the teacher has been placed on paid administrative leave from both his teaching and coaching positions pending the police investigation. Police responded to Solitro's home 1 o'clock Sunday morning and found a female victim with an ice pack on her face and a little blood. Solitro was arrested and charged with domestic assault. Rhode Island Coal Coalition Against Domestic Violence Executive Director Deborah DeBear says domestic violence happens in every community and crosses socioeconomic classes and professions. Uh, particularly if someone is in contact with young adults, like a teacher or a coach, we would certainly want to hold those people to a higher standard to some degree because they need to be role models for our young adults and for children today. We confirmed with East Providence Police, Solitro was arrested last May on a domestic vandalism charge. Court documents show a woman filed a no-contact order against him, but the case was quickly dropped. It is quite common for abusers to be arrested more than once. Um, it's usually not the first time they've assaulted someone when the police are called. DeBear urges friends and family members to offer support for those who are too afraid to call for help in fear of retaliation. You don't have to know exactly what to say or what to do, but it's important to let them know that there is help available. The victim in this case was taken to Merriam Hospital. She was treated and released. Now, we went to Salitra's home, knocked on the door, but nobody answered. He pleaded not guilty to the charge, and he'll be back in court later this month. Reporting in East Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.